Hello everyone, Manithrall here, and welcome back to another boss battle guide. Uh, today we are going to be doing the King Black Dragon. Now, he's really simple. Um, the biggest thing to watch out for is the fact that he can poison you and he can freeze your uh, run movement. Uh, so do keep that in mind when you go to fight him. Uh, his instance cost is actually a lot less than the other bosses. It's only... It's a little bit more than 37k, but I have the part where, you know, you can go in cheaper. But to really make him kind of like an AFK boss, have super anti-fire. Drink that first. You really should probably drink it before you head in. You won't need prayer for him, but... Well, depending on your level, you might not need prayer. But as always, use your Vampiria Zamora. Start fighting him. What I like to do is, again, I have Venom Blood Perk, so it's making me immune to poison. I just I find it very useful. And if you want to use prayer against them, you can. It'll make the fat, uh, it'll make the fights go a little bit faster. But if you use range against them, um, it's a boss, so they don't really have direct weakness. But you would want to use. Um, range because his the most common attack is a mage attack unless you're really close then he also has a melee attack so that's why I would suggest you know doing those kind of things with him but otherwise as you can see he's really simple to fight um, if you have the venom blood perk you don't have to worry about anti-poisons if and then you just stand back. If you want to bring some super restores, you can. But I don't think it's going to be necessary for most people. But he does have um, an attack that will lower your stats. So for some people, you might want to do that. Other people, it might not be a big deal. Me, I kind of have a lot of high levels. Well, I am a high level. Um, so his attacks really aren't that much of a big deal for me. So I, I, you know, I'll show you guys a couple fights here, but he's not really hard to fight. Just, you know, keep popping your thresholds. I, if you get enough adrenaline build up, you know, go ahead and use your ultimates, but I generally just use my thresholds on them. And then whatever's left over, I just use to heal up for whatever damage I may or may not incur. Oh, 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 nice. <laughs> That's a drop I was not expecting. I didn't know he started Dragon Kite Ornament Kite Kit. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's not worth much, but hey, it's pretty cool, you know. Um... So if that's something one of you guys want or need, let me know, and you can have it. I mean, shockingly, it's only worth 27 gold. I remember when those things were worth a lot of money. But I do have the luck of the dwarves ring, so that does help out a little bit, too, with the drops. It's just kind of neat to actually get a rare drop. <laughs> you know, I know it's not a big one, but at least it's a rare drop. We'll just do this one last battle. This way you can see, you know, about what I'm doing here down here with my moves. But as you can see, I'm having no problems. Um, and all I do is I have the Blood Fury. You probably could use a Demon Horn for here, and then you could really have like probably unlimited prayer because he's not exactly the hardest boss in the world to fight. Keep in mind, he's also able to be fought for uh, free-to-play now, too. Uh, they made that update a little while ago, so free-to-play, if you want to fight him, go ahead. Just remember to bring your uh, anti-fire shield, because you're going to need that. Because, unfortunately, these super anti-fires, I believe, are a member's item. So do keep that in mind if you are, you know, free to play and you do want to fight them. Uh, do have 
your anti-fire shield. Uh, the only reason why I can fight him without a shield is because the super anti-fire axes, both the anti-fire potion and the shield. So it's giving me a two for one type deal. So do keep that in mind. But yeah, otherwise, you know, he's really simple. Of course, the lower the gear you use, the harder it's going to be. Um, but if you balance your abilities, if you bring food or prayer, prayer especially, if you bring prayer, you should be alright. But that'll actually do it for this boss guide. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys find something useful out of it. I know it's a very simple fight. Uh, but I did want to bring this one to some people's attention as well, because black hides are good for crafting, and hey, you get some okay drops while you're at it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later guys.